good afternoon dear students today we are going to revise our chapter 7 that is variation so you are going to study we are going to revise the uh, direct variation and inverse variation few problems i'll be solving it today so please make sure you are writing it in your, your notebook or you can write it down in your rough book as well few questions will be given as worksheet so do practice answer key will be provided okay so let's begin our class today your chapter 7 variation in this topic a very short topic it is in this you just to know you need to know two important concept that is direct variation what is direct variation and about how to find out the constant of variation under direct variation okay and the equation of variation then similarly like inverse variation also you need to know how to find out the constant of variation under inverse variation if the two factors are in inverse variation how to find out the constant of variation as well as equation of variation but before that what do you mean by direct variation let's see so in direct variation if one number increases or any factor increases so does the other simple meaning it is so it is also known as direct proportion just take an example of a chocolate okay a chocolate 5 rupees any chocolate you can take an example suppose we take an example of dairy milk of 5 rupees okay now a 5 rupees dairy milk if you buy one what will be the cost now this is just an example which i am telling yes so for one dairy milk suppose a small dairy milk you have purchased okay how many one what will be the cost of one dairy milk 5 rupees now suppose you are buying two what will happen here for two dairy milk how much one for five so two for 10 similarly if it goes on to three if you are purchasing three it is increasing now here what you can understand as the number is increasing number of chocolates is increasing so does the rate correct okay? both are increasing whether when you buy two dairy milk you are paying less than 5 no it is not possible it will obviously increase isn't it so just an example like that there are many factors where if one increases other also increases okay such an increase is known as direct variation or direct proportion okay so that is the meaning of direct variation so how you are going to write down what is a constant of variation how you are going to write down now here when you see the ratio just check the ratio what rate it is increasing first one 1 upon 5 okay number of chocolates so this is the number of chocolates and this will be the rate okay so how you will find out the ratio number of chocolates divided by how many rupees is there that so 1 upon 5 here next one 2 upon 10 what will be the ratio for 2 upon 10 when you reduce it further it will be 2 ones are 2 to 5 is a 10 here also 1 upon 5 3 upon 15 what will be the ratio when you reduce it again so 3 how much are 15 it will be 3 5 is a 15 so here also you are getting 1 upon 5 can you all find out that everywhere the ratio remains constant isn't it it will remain same okay at same ratio it is increasing that is known as what constant of variation at what rate it is changing such is known is denoted by the letter k okay so in direct variation how are you going to represent now suppose the number of chocolates we have taken as x and if the cost of chocolate is y so what are you going to write how are you going to represent this x directly varies to y okay both will be side by side this alpha sign we are going to show for the variation x varies to y is written as like this so for the constant of variation k okay in the equation of variation how are you going to write x is equal to ky okay x is equal to ky this you need to remember for direct variation now let's see what is inverse variation 
inverse variation is exactly opposite of direct variation if one factor is increasing other one will decrease if one factor is decreasing other one will increase straight away opposite okay now inverse variation is also known as indirectly proportional inverse proportion or inverse variation okay now what happens here you can now suppose for example for inverse variation okay if you uh, come by bicycle or just imagine if you are walking and coming to school okay if you walk slowly you will take more time to reach the school isn't it if you walk speed okay if you increase your speed the time taken to reach the school will decrease isn't it so what happens when you walk so fast okay when you walk very fast you are increasing your speed okay the time will be less no if you walk fast the time taken to reach your school will be less same way take the example if you ride your bicycle little bit fast okay which is wrong don't ride bicycle too fast that is not correct if you ride your bicycle little bit faster time taken to reach the school will be less you will need less time to reach the school correct similar as the speed decreases time taken will increase as the speed increases time taken will decrease okay so it is one opposite of each other okay so that is known as what inverse variation in this case also it will be at same rate okay at same rate which is known as constant of variation it will increase and decrease okay that is denoted by letter k now how to write this equation of variation i'll just show you just a minute So how are you going to represent? Now you all are aware of seesaw, which you have already played when you were small. In parks, you can see a seesaw. What is the shape of that? What happens when you sit on a seesaw? If one of your friend is here, you will be here, isn't it? When your friend comes down here, you will go up, isn't it? You will be case. So x varies. To show it in inverse proportion, x varies to one upon y okay x is here in the top y will come down just remember a seesaw okay so x is in the top so y is, will not be here y will be down in the equation format how are you going to write x is equal to x is equal to k multiplied by 1 upon y these two things you need to remember okay x varies directly to y means x varies to y x is equal to k y if it is inverse x varies to 1 upon y x is equal to k 1 upon y okay please do remember this based on this we shall solve few problems let's solve if m is directly proportional m and n are side by side means they are in direct variation and when m is 154 n will be 7 Find the value of m when n is 14. So first we need to find out, we have to write there what is given m varies to n. Okay, so this is given. How are you going to write it in the format of equation? Just now we discussed. Now there, there we have taken x and y. Here the letter is changing m and n. m is equal to k n okay now m value given here what it is 154 is equal to k we don't know we are going to find out what is constant of variation k into n is what given 7 so what will be the constant of variation k 154 divided by 7 154 sorry so what will be your answer 22 okay so we got the value of k now we can find out the value of m because k and n value is given okay so below how are you going to find out m so here you can write when 
n is equal to 14 okay if n is 14 what will be the value of m same way you're going to write m is equal to k n okay m value we are going to find out k value we got just now that is 22 into n value we got it is given in the question so what it will be your answer 308 308 will be the value of m next question a varies to b so a varies to 1 upon b and when a is 6 b is 20 find the value of b when a is 12 now here 1 upon b means what it is in inverse variation so how are you going to write it a varies to b means a varies to 1 upon b so a is equal to k upon k 1 upon b or you can write a is equal to k upon b k upon b what is given a value is given as how much 6 b is given as how much 20 substitute there in spite of a we'll write 6 is equal to k we don't know we are going to find out b 20 so therefore k value constant of variation is how much k means constant of variation 20 into 6 what will be the answer is equal to 120 okay now what are we supposed to find out find the value of b when a is 12 okay so there we will write when a is 12 what will be b So, same thing we are going to write A is equal to K upon B. Okay. So, A value given as 12 in the question. K, we just now found out what is that? 120. B, we are going to find out right now. Now, here B is in division. How are you going to solve it here? So, it will be cross multiplication when you do. So, 12B is equal to 120. Therefore, B is equal to how much? We'll shift 12. This time here it was multiplication. When we shift to that side, it will become division. 120 upon 12. So, what will be your answer? Value of B is 12 tens are 120. So, it is 10. Okay, so, this is what you need to remember how to write the equation of variation. We shall solve the next one. Find the constant of variation and write the equation of variation for the every example given below. See the first one. S varies inversely to T square. How it is written? S varies to 1 upon T square. How can you write it in the equation format? S is equal to K upon T square. S value is given how much? 4. So, we will substitute here 4 is equal to K. We are going to find out. We are going to have to find out constant of variation. T given as 5. So, 5 and T, it is not T. It is T square. So, 5 square. What will be your answer? 4 is equal to K upon 5. 5 is 25. So, therefore, what is the value of K there? Therefore, k is equal to, here 25 was in division, now it need to shift here, it will become multiplication. So, 4 into 25 will give you how much? 25 fours are is 100. Okay. So, constant of variation, we got 100. What is asked in the question? Write the equation of variation. How are you going to write the equation of variation? What is the equation? How are we supposed to write? S is equal to K upon T square. Okay. We'll move, shift T the side. So, it will be S T square is equal to. We have to substitute the value of K what we got. 
we got k as 100 so s t square is equal to 100 so whenever it is asked to write the equation of variation the letters which is there that won't change that will remain same they are not going to substitute anything in that place okay but equation of variation means we are going to put the value of k so first we will find out the value of k and then we'll write the equation of variation okay similarly the second question is given x varies to square root of y is written as x varies now this is the second question i am solving this was the first one. X varies 1 upon root y. How are you going to write it in the equation format? X is equal to k upon root y. Okay. X value given 15 in the question. K we are going to find out. What is root y? So root of 9. What is square root of 9? 3. 15 is equal to k upon 3. So, therefore, we got the value of k. How? We will shift 3 here. So, 3 was divided. Now, it will become multiplication. So, 15, 3 is a how much? 45. So, constant of variation is 45. Now, we have to write the equation of variation. What I said? The equation of variation, we are going to substitute the value for k. Rest x and y will remain as it is. So, what is the equation of variation? x is equal to k upon root y. x is equal to k value we got as 45 upon root y. Shift root y here. So, x root y is equal to 45. Okay, so this is how we are going to solve the questions based on direct and inverse variation. Such type of questions you can expect in chapter 7. So for that you need to know how to write the equation of variation for direct variation as well as inverse variation. Okay, so today I will be giving you a worksheet of few questions. Do solve it in your notebook or rough book. Have thorough practice on this chapter. Next class will be the revision of chapter 8. So thank you so much everyone.